You know, we human beings are super powerful. We're superhumans. We're superheroes. We're super because we're powerful organic extensions of creator energy. Fear, attached fear, is our kryptonite. But how can fear attach? How does it attach to us? The only way fear can attach, the only way fear can dig its talons into us, is if we are holding disempowering beliefs about us in our unconscious mind. And this attached fear is very sneaky because it hides in the recesses of our unconscious mind where it is hidden from awareness in our conscious mind, where our conscious awareness just doesn't see it. Attached fear is also very cunning because when you detect it in one area, it finds another area to strike and then hide. So what's the medicine for this kryptonite infection? So if we're infected with this kryptonite virus, there are two very effective antidotes to this fear attachment. One is just intentionally and consciously think of something beautiful and feel the beauty of it. And then think of another thing and another thing. And before you know it, all you're gonna see is beauty. You'll be shifted from the fear attachment. So this is a cure that deals with the symptom. The other powerful medicine is the soul healing or the soul integration, where we heal the soul wound that invited the embedding of this disempowering self-belief. But we need to have an intentional conscious practice to observe our thoughts and ferret out the fear attachment as it erupts and arises when we get triggered. Then we have a shot to clear it out, to deal with the kryptonite and immune ourselves from the virus of fear's grip, to clear that kryptonite virus and in the healing of our soul, step into our superhuman natural nature. This practice of observing our thoughts and our feelings and the physiology of fear is our best method, is a powerful medicine to heal, to clear, to dissolve the kryptonite virus in our system so we can embrace and fully express our superpower. I think I'll leave it there for now. Until next time, take care.